Namaste beautiful yogis. Today we are doing yoga for complete beginners and we will target digestion. Let's begin coming to the front of the mat. Roll your shoulders back and drop them down. Feeling the chest opening here, pull the belly in and really squeeze your belly in. Press into all four corners of each foot. And now we're finding our perfect balance, standing, very important. Nice deep inhalations, soft and complete exhalations. Feel your feet sinking to the floor as you exhale. Keep drawing your belly in, really engaging the core, engaging the muscles. Inhale your arms out and we're going to round the back and bring the hands together forming a circle in front of us. Inhale, open. Exhale, rounding, really feel your back and spine. Inhale, open, chest is opening. The space between the collar bones is opening. Exhale, rounding. Inhale, opening. Exhale, rounding. Inhale, opening. Great, from here, step your feet hip width apart or a little wider. And we're going to twist side to side, feeling the midsection working. And we'll reach side to side, circled side bends, reaching side to side. Side really elongating the midsection. Great. From here, soft knees. Hands on just somewhere above the knees and we're going to pull the belly in as in a vacuum, stomach vacuum. So a lot of you have never done this. It's very important for digestive health. It can tone your digestive system. So do as much as you can. Bringing the knees onto your thighs and you're going to hollow your belly a little bit or a lot. Whatever, whatever you can and it will improve over time. Inhale. And as you exhale, at the end of the exhalation, hollow the belly. Good. Let's do one more time. Give me your best shot. However you can do it, it's good enough, even if it's a minimal um, stomach vacuum. Exhaling completely once you're emptied out of <laughs> once you've emptied the lungs, then hold the belly. Beautiful. From here, inhale your hands over the head. Exhale straight back, halfway down. Once you're here, bend the knees and lower your chest over your thighs in a forward bend. You can wrap your wrists around your elbows and hang here. Shake your head. Soften the face muscles. Soften the lips and eyes. Excellent. Hands on the ground. Step back and lower the knees on the ground, coming onto all fours. Here in all fours, you're going to round the back and look towards your navel. Inhale, arch and look up. One more time. Round and look down. Arch and look up. Beautiful. From here, you are going to take the right hand and the left leg of the floor. They're reaching away from each other and the hips are balancing. The shoulders are 
equal distance from the floor. Great. Lower down one more time. Reach, lower down, reach, lower down. Now the next rep is going to be reach, elbow to knee. One, reach, elbow to knee, pull the belly in two, reach, elbow to knee. That's the third one, very good. Lower the hand and the knee down and we're gonna go over to the opposite side. One, lower down, two, they're really reaching away from each other. See, lower down. The next rep is going to be elbow to knee. One, two, three. Great. Lower the knees down and come into a seated pose. So you're going to cross your feet and sit down comfortably in a cross-legged position. Here, we're going to bring the knees, the hands over the knees, round the back and look towards the belly. Really try to pull the belly in, navel towards the spine. That really tones the digestive system. Inhale, look up, arch. One more time. Exhale, rounding. Inhale, arching. Exhale, rounding. Inhale, arching. Coming out of this into a neutral spine position. Inhale the right arm up, left arm somewhere behind you. And you're going to bring the right hand to the left knee, look behind you, keeping the chest open and lengthening through the crown of the head. Inhale out of this, opposite side. Left arm reaching, sitting bone sinking into the floor. Exhale, twist. Look behind you, really wide back, open chest, lengthening through the crown of the head. So here we're twisting the midsection, which can really improve digestion, digestive fire. It can tone the digestive organs, the stomach. Great. From here, we're just going to form a circular motion around the base of the spine, moving counterclockwise, getting to do obliques. Great, let's change direction. Breathe. Slow down your breath. Excellent. Coming into a seated pose and we're going to glide the right hand out to the side of the body. Left arm up but make sure that the left sitting bone is down so you're not leaning over here. Great. Opposite side. Look up. Beautiful. From here, coming back to all fours. And we're going to walk the knees a little further away from us. So the space between the hands and the knees is a little further away, a little bigger, and we're going to begin to lower the chest down towards the floor, lower the belly down, and come up. Cobra. So to come up in Cobra, elbows need to squeeze into the ribcage, lengthen through the crown of the head, lengthening the back of the spine and looking ahead of you. Let's look over to the right and over to the left. Now the pressure or the contact with the floor is another digestive stimulating pose. It can soothe your digestion and it can also improve it. Great, the next pose is very similar in its effects on the digestive system. We're going to open the hands out to the sides. Next pose, we're going to open the hands out and deepen that previous pose. 
looking down, lengthening the back of the neck. Walk your feet away from each other so your body is forming a form of a star. And we're going to lift the legs and the hands of the floor looking down at the mat so that the back of the neck is long. Holding here, feeling the belly, feeling the lower back working which is part of your core, strong core. Lower down onto the right cheek. One more time. Lift. Hold. Get that back to work. Lower down onto your left cheek. Next, swimming. So we're going to reach in front of the head, lift opposite, hand to foot, and shift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hands underneath the shoulders, child's pose. So sit, sit between your heels, lowering the forehead down onto the ground. Inhale, coming up. We're going to come into a seated pose. See if you can sit on your heels for a moment, stretching the quadriceps here. Great. Hands in front of you. Right hand onto the ground. We're going to bring the right knee down. Left leg extending, side plank modified beginner version and either hold this really engaging the belly or you can pulse your left leg five times one two three four five great we're working on the midsection back to both hands let's go to the opposite side either holding or pulsing lift your hips high belly engaged one two three four five great and we're going to take a modified plank knees on the ground tuck the tailbone under pull the belly in from here coming out of this we're going to come onto the body Sit down onto your body, grab behind your knees, grab your thighs and lower yourself down, rounding the back and lowering one vertebra at a time. All the way, laying down onto the ground. From here, we're going to pull the belly in, bring the knees into the chest, give yourself a hug. Maybe rocking side to side. Great. Let's bring. Basically, you're going to keep a 90 degree angle between your calves and your thighs. And you can bring your hands underneath your body for support. Holding that 90 degree angle, press the lower back into the floor. So there is no space, there is no gap between the floor and the lower back and the hands underneath the body are helping with that a little bit and here you are going to take the right leg and the toes are going to touch the floor five times think of it as toe dips if there is a pull and you're just dipping your toes one two belly in three four five opposite side one two three four five great cross your ankles and we're going to bring the right hand behind the head right elbow to left knee hold squeeze change sides 
great from here we're going to reach press the palms of your hands together and reach between your legs and hold great hands underneath the body one more time and we're going to press the lower back into the floor and criss cross with the legs keep your legs somewhat high so that your lower back remains on the floor very important this is really good for your core and midsection great bring your knees into your chest Extend the left leg down, right knee into the chest. You can draw some circles with your knee. Breathe. Opposite side. Now the left knee, you will bring the right hand to your left knee and the left hand will, uh, will extend, left arm will extend to the side. From here you are just going to begin to twist, so you will bring your left knee across from your body. Keep that left shoulder down. You feel that extension along your obliques on the side of the body. Look away from your knee over towards your left hand. Inhale out of this. Opposite side. Right knee across. Keep your right shoulder down and your knee is probably not going to touch the floor on the opposite side. Maybe after a while of doing this class, but not if you haven't done any twists in a while. So be patient, give it time. Eventually you'll deepen your twists and that's very, very good for your digestive health and health in general. Spinal health. Exhale completely, coming out of this, we're going to hug the knees into the chest and bring the forehead into the knees and really draw the belly in, squeeze it as hard as you can. Exhaling with a ha, and you can lay down for a brief shavasana, final relaxation, allowing your body to be heavy and allowing yourself to be still for a moment. The mind is still, the body is still, and you're empty, worry-free for a few moments, appreciating the moment, being grateful for this moment. Thanks for joining me today. Namaste.